so here we discuss comma operator so very important operator in most of the written test you can find this particular operator now comma operator is evaluated from left to right comma operator is evaluated from left to right and the result of the light, rightmost expression is assigned to left hand side the result of the rightmost expression is assigned to left hand side now let me trace this program int a comma b comma c memory will be allocated to a memory will be allocated to b and memory will be allocated to c now comma operator is evaluated from left to right and the result of the rightmost expression is assigned to left hand side now left to right means so come to rhs and start from left to right that is first a equal to 5 a equal to 5 so 5 will go to a 5 will go to a next b equal to 6 so 6 will go to b now a plus b so result of the rightmost expression so this is the this is the rightmost expression a plus b is the rightmost expression so 6 plus 5 11 that will be assigned to left hand side so which is there at the left hand side c so c is there at the left hand side that is 11 will be assigned to c so printf sum equal to percent d c so how you will get the output sum equal to the value of c is 11 so sum equal to 11 so that is the output it is the responsibility of the programmer to give the rightmost expression in such a way that it will give the answer in uh, any interview for that matter especially in the return test you can find one or two questions on increment and decrement operator i explain here increment operator three rules i explain here all the three rules are applicable for decrement operator also so rule number one rule number one here most of the students give different answers for these type of problems here if you observe plus plus is there after a I call this as program number one and I call this as program number two so it will be clear now in program number one we used like this a plus plus and in program number two we used like this plus plus a in here in program number one plus plus is there after a so since plus plus is there after a we call it as post increment here plus plus is there before a so since plus plus is there before a we call it as pre increment so what is the concept of post increment post increment means first use the value then increment pre increment means first increment and then use the value but you should not apply the concept of post increment and pre increment in some cases if you observe here program number one and program number two observe here a plus 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 a so normally so we tend to apply the rule of post increment and pre increment but if you observe a is independent here there is no other variable associated with a here also a is independent there is no other variable so rule number one states like this rule number one states like this we should not apply the concept of post increment and pre increment if the variable is used independently or or post increment and pre increment operator behaves in the same manner if they are used independently 
post increment and pre increment operator behave in the same manner if they are used independently. Now I trace this program A. Memory will be allocated to A. 5 will be assigned to A. Now A plus plus. So here A is independent. No other variable. You cannot find any other variable. Only A is there. So I can call A is independent. So here no concept of post increment or pre increment. Just increment. So 5 will become 6. So when you print the value of A, you get the output 6. Here in the second program, memory will be allocated to A. Memory will be allocated to A. So 5 will be assigned to A. Now if you observe here, plus plus A. So again, A is independent. You cannot see any other variable. So there is no concept of pre-increment or post-increment. It is just increment. So 5 will become 6 and you will get the output 6. So rule number 1 tells like this. Post-increment and pre-increment operators behave in the same manner if they are used independently. I hope all of you understood what is the meaning of independent. Now let us see rule number here, rule number two, rule number two on increment and decrement operator. Now, rule number two tells one has to apply the concept of post increment and pre increment in an expression, and most of the times the evaluation is from right to left. One has to apply the concept of post increment and pre increment in the case of expression. So and most of the times the evaluation is from right to left. You have to be very careful here. I use the word most of the times. I did not use the word always. So most of the times the evaluation is from right to left. It is very important because some compilers may evaluate from left to right also. You have to tell this in the interview. Sir, most of the compilers evaluate from right to left. That's why I also did the evaluation from right to left. Now, so you have to apply the concept of post increment and pre increment. So post increment means first use the value then increment. Pre increment means first increment and then use the value. Now let us trace this particular program. Memory will be allocated to A. Memory will be allocated to B. Memory will be allocated to C. And memory will be allocated to D. Memory will be allocated to D. Now, A equal to 5. So, 5 will be assigned to A. B equal to 6. 6 will be assigned to B. Now, come to this particular expression. The evaluation should be right to left. So the evaluation should be right to left because we have seen most of the compilers will evaluate from right to left. So we should also evaluate from right to left. So now plus plus b if you observe the first thing is plus plus b means first increment b. So 6 will become 7 then use it in the expression then use it in the expression. Now a plus plus. So a plus 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 is there after a. So first use the value of a. So the value of a is 5. Then increment here. 5 will become 6. 5 will become 6. Now observe the second expression. So the evaluation should be right to left. That is first we need to evaluate b plus plus. 
then we should go for plus plus a. Now how it works? Now b plus plus b plus plus. So plus plus is there after b. So post increment use the value that is 7. So first we need to use the value that is 7 then increment 7 will become 8. Now plus plus a here plus plus a. So first increment 6 will become 7 then use here then use here. So now 5 plus 7 that is 12 so 12 will go to C and 7 plus 7 14 will go to D. So we get the values 7, 8, 12, 14 as the output 7, 8, 12, 14 as the output. So most of the compilers evaluate from right to left. So we should also do it from right to left. When you tell most of the compilers, there are chances. Interviewer may ask the question, which are all the different compilers you know? So you should be ready with the answer. So there are so many compilers like Turbo C. Turbo C is from Microsoft Corporation, Borland C, Lattice C, Quick C, GCC. So there are so many different compilers are available in the market. When they give these type of problems in the interview, first you have to understand whether to apply rule number one or rule number two. You have to analyze. Now here, if you observe, x is not independent. Here also x is not independent. So you can see x with other variables here with y, here with z. So you have to apply rule number two. You should not go for rule number one. What is rule number two? We have to apply the concept of post increment and pre increment. Now, or here in the case of in this particular problem, decrement. So here minus minus is there before x. So it is pre decrement. So memory will be allocated to here actually x, y, and z. So it is not only int x here, uh, it's comma y is also declared and z is also declared so semicolon is at the end so here is comma not okay semicolon so memory will be allocated to y and uh, memory will be allocated to z memory will be allocated to z now minus minus x first decrement x that is 4 will become 3 Okay, 4 will become 3. Then the 3 will be assigned to y. The 3 will be assigned to y. So, 3 will be assigned to y. Here, if you see this expression, z equal to x minus minus. Minus minus is there after x. So, minus minus is there after x. So, post decrement. First, use the value of x, that is 3 will be assigned to z. 3 will be assigned to z, then 3 will be decremented, so 2, 2. So, you will get the output 2, 3, 3. You will get the output 2, 3, 3. In this particular case, memory will be allocated to x. Memory will be allocated to x and 4 will be okay assigned to it and memory will be allocated to y and the value of y is 3 and memory will be allocated to z now in this particular expression in this particular expression you can see two operators one is minus another one is minus 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 here if you observe this is minus is a binary operator because it acts on two operands. If you observe this minus minus is a unary operator. It acts on single operand. So unary operator and binary operator, if both are present in the same expression, 
normally unary operator enjoys higher priority. So here you need to evaluate x minus minus first. So x minus minus means first use the value that is 4 then decrement 4 will become 3 minus y. What is y? 3. So 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 will be assigned to z. So when you print the values of x, y, z, you get the output 3, 3, 1. You get the output 3, 3, 1. We have done with rule number 1 and rule number 2. Now we will see rule number 3. Here, how this post increment or pre increment or post decrement pre decrement operator works when we use them along with printf so that is rule number three so rule number three states like this one has to apply the concept of post increment and pre increment in printf statement and most of the times the evaluation is from right to left so very important okay most of the times the evaluation is from right to left here you have to understand i used the word most of the times i have not used the word always moral of the story the most of the compilers evaluate from right to left most of the compilers evaluate from right to left. So, you need to tell this in the interview. Okay. So, don't assume that interviewer knows this so that I will not explain. No. Interviewer knows that. But interviewer doesn't know you know this particular concept. So, you should explicitly tell. Now, let us trace this particular program A equal to 5. So, memory will be allocated to A and it is initialized with phi. Now, plus plus A. Plus plus is there before A here. So, plus plus is there before A. So, first increment. So, phi will become 6. Then it will be printed. Here, A plus plus. So, first use the value that is 6, then increment 6 will become 7. <coughs> I am sorry. Now, post decrement here. Minus minus is there after e. So, it is a post decrement. So, first use the value 7, then decrement here. 7 will become 6. Now here minus minus a. So first decrement because it is pre decrement. Minus minus is there before a. So first decrement 6 will become 5 and 5 will be printed onto the screen. Now here plus plus a. So first increment 5 will become 6 then use here then use here now a plus plus so first use the value because it is post increment plus plus is there after e so first use the value that is 6 will be printed and then it will be incremented 6 will become 7 here we discussed few more problems on this uh, increment operator now memory will be allocated to a memory will be allocated to b and memory will be allocated to c and a is initialized with 0 and b is initialized with 2 and c is initialized with 0 now if you observe here within the condition within the if condition a and so here and is a logical and this and is a logical and logical and means so if any one operand for example if you take a 
B A and B so 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 so logical and so if both the operands are 1 then only the result will be 1 if any one operand is 0 the ultimate result will be 0 here a itself is 0 in our expression a itself is 0 so it knows the ultimate answer so this the whole expression will become 0 so it will be like it will be like if uh, 0 if 0 if 0 means it is false 0 is considered as false so it will not execute this c equal to 1 so we will get the value 0 2 0 as the output we will get the values 0 2 0 as the output now so i slightly modified this program 1 okay so here this is program 2 it's slightly modified version of program number 1 here memory will be allocated to a memory will be allocated to b and memory will be allocated to c and a is initialized with 1 and b is initialized with 2 and c is initialized with 0 now let me trace this particular program here a the first operand is 1 so we need to evaluate this we need to evaluate this so here b equal to a plus plus means b equal to a plus plus means first use the value of a what is that a is 1 that 1 should go to b 1 should go to b so 2 will be replaced with 1 2 will be replaced with 1 and plus plus so a should be incremented 1 will be incremented to 2 now if you observe here 1 and 1 1 and 1 is 1 so it will become like if 1 if 1 if 1 means so the condition is true so any non-zero value is considered as true so this statement will be executed c equal to 1 so this 0 will become 1 so we will get the answer 2 1 1 we get the answer 2 1 1